Champions League second leg quarterfinal action continues today with decisive games at Am uh, Etihad Stadium uh, with City uh, hosting Tottenham and Porto will be seeking redemption against Liverpool at the Estadio do Drago. Football pundit Adeola Omomo joins me now from the UK. Now Adeola, welcome on the show. City have to prove themselves ready for the big stages. It's only about time. Do you see them getting past uh, sports today? Thanks for having me to the day. Um, I think they've got everything possible. They've got the right players to sort of overcome um, Tottenham Hotspur. Um, if you go back into the way back to the first leg, you'll realize that uh, City could have rounded that game off um, early in the, in the first half. Um, they lost the penalty and um, Tottenham really struggled to sort of um, get or to eke out a result. Um, so I think City would have it slightly easy um, to overrun the Tottenham of four. More so, um, the only trophy that is still um, a little bit elusive for Man Manchester City is the UEFA Champions League. And um, hence the reason why they got Pep Guardiola. So I, I reckon that would be a huge motivating factor for Manchester City to sort of um, wrap this game up. Okay, and now how will Spurs approach this game? We know they will be playing without uh, their talisman, Harry Kane. Uh, there is a bit of doubt with uh, Son Heung-min, who has been impressive this season. Uh, how, what kind of an attacking lineup should we expect from Spurs? Because we know that if you sit back against City, they are going to, you know, take take it out on you. Right. Um Quite unfortunate, um, the predicament Tottenham Hotspur have found themselves at, the, at this particular point in time. Um, we all know that for sports to have any meaningful impact, um, Harry Kane has to be fit, but unfortunately, he's not going to be available for this game. So if they're going to get anything meaningful at all, the game will have to be built around um, Son, who happens to be their most informed player at the moment, and probably Christian Eriksen, then you probably will be relying on the likes of um, Daily Ali to rise up to the occasion. But um, I must say that it's a huge uphill task for Sonam Hotspur um, at this particular point in time. But um, concerning the fact that they're going into this game with a goal cushion, they are, they, they are, they are in, in some sort of slight advantage um, in a sense. And considering a knockout competition where everything happens, um, they are still in poor position when you compare them to Manchester United um, yesterday. So okay. I think um, they can still get something out of it, but it's going to be very, very tough. Okay, uh, now let's talk about uh, the game. Liverpool will be going uh, to the Estadio de Dragao to face FC Porto. Now, last season, Liverpool were in Paris. 5-1, he ended that fixture. Uh, do you see anything going any other way than a Liverpool victory today? Um, well, I cannot tell you is what the goal margin is going to be, but I think they've more or less sort of wrapped it up in the first leg. At this point in time, Liverpool has the right firepower. Oh, they've, no. um, strengthened their, they've, strength, they've strengthened their defence very well. Um, in the person of Van Dijk, who has given them some sort of balance. Um, up front this season, it's um, Mo Salah and um, Sadio Mane. Um, we can call them the African duo. So if they're going to get anything out of if they're going to get anything out of this victory, they will need Salah and Sane and Firmino to sort of rise to the occasion. But I think this game is almost pretty um, done and dusted. Um, I think they will be too much for um, Porto at this point in time. So I think I'll give this to Liverpool. All right, thank you very much, Adela, for your time uh, this morning.